Hi, my name is Jos Overschie, trainer and consultant at Ovedecom. And in this video, I want to tell you more about self-priming pumps. And I do this with the following subjects. What is a self-priming pump? How does a self-priming pump work? And when do I use a self-priming pump? In front of me you see a self-priming pump, a cutaway model of a self-priming pump. And why am I sure that this is a self-priming pump? Because I can see it. This is the suction port of the pump. And the suction port is above the shaft, the center of the impeller shaft. And with that, this is a self-priming pump. Before I can start a self-priming pump, you have to fill it with medium. And I can do it through this opening. I fill up the pump housing. And because there is, as you can see in this cutaway model, you, have, you see here a check valve. And you can completely fill this pump housing because this check valve will close up the suction line so you can fill it completely up because you can fill this pump house completely the impeller is nearly completely below medium level and because it's below medium level this pump can be a self priming pump when we're talking about a normal priming pump the medium level is just like this so nearly half the impeller diameter. I can show you the inside of this pump. That's the feature of a cutaway model. You see here the red part, that is the impeller. And the impeller can turn. And within this pump house we have different chambers and we need them to be and to make this pump a self-priming pump. And how a self-priming pump works, I will show you in this animation. You see the animation and you see the pump house. And the pump house is nearly com completely filled with medium. And you see that the suction line is empty and the discharge line is empty. You see that the pump impeller is turning. And with the turn and the rotation of the pump impeller, you get an internal flow in the pump house. And because of that internal flow, the gas will be transported by the impeller out of the pump housing through the outlet of the pump. And we're getting a lower pressure in the pump house. And because of the lower pressure, the medium and the gas will go through the suction line to the pump housing. And you see that the medium level is going up in the suction line. And at a certain point, the complete pump house is filled with the medium. And the medium will leave the pump house through the discharge of the pump. Where do you use a self-priming pump for? For example, if you have a medium with some particles in it and it's not yeah, able, you're not able to have a completely closed check valve or foot valve in your suction line. So the medium level is going down and then you need a self-priming pump because you want to start the pump and the pump must be able to transport the medium. But it's also possible that you have a clean medium with gas bubbles or air bubbles in it. And also if you have a certain amount of gas bubbles and air bubbles, you need a self-priming pump because a normal priming pump is not able to transport that kind of medium. And you have certain circumstances that you want to be sure that your suction line is empty. But you have to fill the pump house first. And with a self-priming pump with a completely empty suction line, you can start the pump and within a minute, sometimes five minutes, you have the pump working like you want. I talked about what is a self-priming pump, how does a self-priming pump works, and where do you use a self-priming pump for. I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully you learned something from it. If you have a question, please drop it below so we can answer it. And if you want to learn more, please visit our website 
because we have cases on our website but also e-learning courses so take a look at our website don't forget to subscribe and i want to see you next time hopefully see you bye